So we're all loaded up, we got the boat, the truck. We're gonna be taking off now, about two hours to camp. Go set up camp. Probably won't get any spawn in the night, but we'll be out first thing in the morning. And hopefully find something. So stay tuned. So we got our tent all set up. <clears throat> kind of forgot the rain fly, so we, uh, you know, came up with our ingenuity and got it fixed. Beautiful view where we're at. Cook some burgers and some mashed potatoes up. Didn't get a chance to get out spawning tonight, but we'll hit our first thing in the morning, park the boat on the shore and take off hiking for the day and hopefully we can turn up some good bucks. It's gonna be home for the next couple, three nights. Not too bad of a setup. Forgot the rain fly, so we used the tarp, but so going to bed early, get up early and shoot something tomorrow. Getting the boat hooked back on. Just gotta bring it down the off ramp. It's about 5.30 probably now, an hour to the shooting light. Binos, got the GoPro. Hopefully something cool happens today. So, we'll just guide him back here get hooked on and we'll be hunting in an hour. Headed off, shooting across the lake. It's gonna be a good morning. Hopefully we're running to stud bucks and we need to go chase around. Let's get it. Okay, so we got the boat parked. Got it tied off to some rocks and cinder blocks, anchor off the back. Um, we're gonna hike up to that ridge up there. Start doing some glassing. It was kind of a sh crap shoot this morning trying to get this boat parked, but we got her done. So we're just gonna head out there for the day and hopefully see something we're chasing. So let's get it. So the boat's parked down there. We just climbed up this first hill and there's already some deer over there. There's two four points. It don't look like anything big, but we'll get we'll get a picture for you. It's a good sign there's deer in here. Nice, it's a big point. It's got crabs. Zoom out a little bit. <laughs> See if you can get them all up there. We're gonna hike up there in glass. Made it back to the boat. Right. Had a good morning. Saw about probably 50 deer, 10 bucks. Not the quite worth shooting. We're gonna head back to camp. Um, maybe take a four there in a place that old guy gave us a tip on last night. So we'll see what happens and we'll see what we can see. Day one recap, we saw probably 100 deer-ish, 20, 25 bucks. We saw one shooter, just kind of ran out of light at the end. Maybe it was a shooter, we saw him like a mile and a half away. Couldn't get there in time, but be back tomorrow. We got some rain and wind coming in, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. So we got more to do. Glass of the deer that are coming off the lake from the night. 
got rain on all morning. I'm right in here. A little wet, so have about two hours till it rains again and then we'll be going, so hopefully we turn up something big in a shoot. A rainy day produced not much, but just a little buck as we were confined to the tent, ended up packing up. It's day three after we got rained out yesterday. We're in a new area, a little more gumbly hills. I haven't seen a deer yet this morning, but when you get to the top of this and have some big glass in the deal and hopefully spot something up, so I'll keep you updated. We turned up a group of bachelor bucks, but none of which had a shooter in it, so more deer, but no shooters. So morning number one, it's about negative 20 out, um, a lot of dense fog, head out and see what happens. Pulled up. We gotta take the four wheel from here. All bundled up. No one else will be back in here, so we'll get back in here and see. The sun's already up, but deer should be out all day. Turned up a couple more small bucks, and then I end up getting fogged out for the day, so I ended up having to move locations and uh, just kept looking at small bucks, but never found any shooters. More fog, the dust getting cold, and the struggles continue to find a mature buck, and our hopes were starting to get be diminished. Morning number three, we woke up with clear skies and some hope of finding a mature deer. So there's a buck spotted down there. Three by four, he's pretty heavy. One of the better bucks we've seen, though, quite a shooter. We got close to that one buck. Fog's moved in again now. Can't see anything. Maybe finishes up right there. It sucks, but by the nature we've been going 10 rounds with, but nothing you can do.
Yeah, whatever you want. Over him. What? Right over him. Right over him? Shoot him again. Right there in the chest. That one's got colored. Boy. Did I not hit him? I don't think so. I don't even see him yet. Those are those does. He's coming up right at them does. How far were them does? Five, twelve. Oh, you just fucking dropped him. Let's go! Holy shit. 512 yards. Holy I fuck. dropped him? Yep. He's down? Is it the yep. right one? I think so. Oh, fucking crap. Holy smokes, that just dropped him like a load of bricks. Yeah, like dead VBD. So it just happened pretty quick. There's a pretty big buck right on that hillside right there, 415 yards. I may have missed twice. He ran down to about right there. I ranged him at 515, changed the turret real quick, and at 515 yards dropped him. Shooting a six and a half, 6.5 PRC. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna hike down there and go see what he looks like. Got our pictures all taken. Can't beat that. I mean, that view. Just can't beat that. I hear the fog, the sunset, the shot. Couldn't have asked for a better time. I mean, what a hunt. But now the work begins. We got to pack them up to the top of that and then a little beyond that. But it shouldn't be too bad. But again, just grateful for this opportunity. And... The last couple days getting to hunt and it's been cold but it's been fun so so we got them all quartered up loaded up we're gonna take them to the top and hike out but yeah we're all loaded up and ready to go taking off we got it all loaded up take off off the hill now and keep her going